Welcome my beautiful Cancers. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 31st to June the 6th, 2021. Starting off with your reading, your all over energy card you have been given is the worry card. So worry is attachment to a particular outcome and the fear that it will not come to pass. So I think, you know, you need to realize that you, you know, worry and creativity cannot exist at the same time. So if you're trying to focus on something that really you need, uh, don't allow worry to come into the equation. Okay. Uh, I think some of you are thinking and worrying and over processing and obsessing about something and maybe you have for a long time, but know that you can't move forward and uh you know and into your creativity into what it is you truly desire your you know and even your everyday functioning you can't function properly and give a hundred percent of your energy to something if you're allowing worry about another subject or topic or situation in your life to take over your mindset so try to be uh you know conscientious about that try to be mindful of that that you you know you have to separate that worry from your everyday life now and try to keep moving forward because you know worry doesn't help anything it just cripples you it slows you down it blocks you from moving forward where you really truly need to be going so this is your message today please be mindful of when you start to worry about certain things and and things especially that you cannot control okay you can't control we have we all have the ability to choose happiness and when we allow worry to come into it it just totally totally knots up our stomach it gets in our headspace it screws up how we we think and how we and we lose our confidence and and we lose our law of attraction and positivity so don't let this happen my beautiful cancers this week please coming in with your first energy card you have been given surrender your desire to control people bring over control being over controlling can sabotage your relationship to more effectively achieve your goals back Back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So maybe you are worried about something. Maybe you're worried about a relationship uh, that you're involved in, and you're allowing that to, to bother you. Whether it's a friendship, whether it's your family member, whether it's your, it's your partner, uh, you know, your lover. Know that you can't control people. It's absolutely Im imperative that you realize that we can't change people. We can't make them do something they don't want to do. We can't turn their hand. We can't force them to do something or be something they're not so just step back take a deep breath let the chips fall the way they may let let everything unfold naturally this week don't try to force something don't try to control anybody this week right now it's not going to work people don't want to do it they're not going to do it you've got a beautiful card coming in below that you've got the four leaf clover and the four leaf clover is all about good luck good karma coming into you and as we progress through this you know through this reading i think you're going to realize that your worry isn't necessary uh it's unnecessary worry right now because i think you're going to see the energy shift in your reading here for the better and you know the four leaf clover is all about luck and happiness and you know things are going to become better and 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 you know what and there isn't a negative card anymore coming in to change this okay I don't see that happening here uh, this is a beautiful card of positive energy and I think you need to just realize that things are going to turn out better okay for you uh, when we get this it's beautiful it's you know it's like the shamrock it's it's just a beautiful beautiful uh, energy coming in and you know when we see the white the white flowers on that card green is healing and white is spiritual so you're getting something coming into you maybe some of you you're going through some sort of a healing process or maybe it's an emotional spiritual or a heart level for some of you it could be a physical uh, situation but know that your luck's going to change it's going to work out better for you and things are going to improve beautiful beautiful energy and change of luck now you have this you have the throne and the throne says position of authority now and that's exactly we think of somebody who's monarchy or somebody of importance who sits on you know at a high standard and they're on a throne it could be somebody you know that may be occupying a position of authority that you may be dealing with this week 
or in the near future, but it could also be you. You're going to be occupying a position of authority. Maybe some of you are being asked to get up and, you know, to take charge of something. Maybe you've been asked to promote something, teach something. Maybe you've been given a promotion. Maybe you're going to be head of a department uh, or something as well, but you could also be dealing with somebody who is in the position of authority, and it could be anybody. It could be somebody in the legal system. It could be somebody who is your superior. It could be your boss. It could be anybody right now, but you will be having some sort of experience with that authority, with that with that position of authority being around you or you doing it. Okay, coming in with your crowning energy, look what you've got. You have the hangman and that is the energy of things being very slow. Uh, you know, you're not, look, look at his picture. He's not really tied there. He's just sort of in limbo, right? He's not, he's not he, you know, he can get down there anytime he wants. And I think you're in a position right now where, you know, you are in limbo. It could be something out of your own control where there's a pause situation going on. Like, you know, the whole world seems to be in sort of a state of that. But you're personally your personal life right now, Cancer, I think you are in that mode. Things aren't moving forward quickly. You're kind of in the middle here. You're at a stalemate uh, right now. and you. But, you know, I think while you're there, you're thinking about what it is you can do. Now, in this tree, there's a snake. And the snake has that ability, right? I'm looking at the snake. The snake has that ability to... Um, you know, to rear its head at times and, you know, strike. Um, I want you to be aware of that. I want you to be aware that, you know, maybe you've pulled back. Maybe this is why you're in this hangman mode. You've decided to step back from some sort of toxic or, or uh, angry energy that, you know, you don't want to be around. And that's good because you can come down off of this situation anytime you want. Also, I think, you know, you're getting messages while you're there. Those birds are around this, this person hanging in the tree and birds are messengers and I think you're collecting messages you're collecting information while you're there you know when you're in the hangman mode we're not just stuck in this void of nothingness we start thinking about what can we do to improve the situation what can I do when I do get moving you start planning maybe some of you are taking courses uh, you know or you're doing research online or you're you're just thinking or getting together with other collaborative minds friends people around you that you you know when you get out of this position, you're going to hit the ground running because you're going to have all the resources, all the messages, all the information you're going to need to do this. Uh, usually in traditional tarot, um, you know, in, in the, in, in, you know, the traditional rider weight, this person's hanging from a tree and not really tied up and there's all this beautiful yellow light around their head and that means they're not idle. They're planning their move, what they're going to do when they get off that tree. So I think you're going to be doing the same. Now coming in behind you, you do have the princess of pentacles. And that's an excellent card. In traditional tarot, it's known as the, you know, the page of pentacles. And I think you're going to be seeing good, hearing good news about money. The page of pentacles is that beautiful message that comes in and says, hey, get ready. You're going to be having, you know, something beautiful coming into you. You're going to either be getting an offer for a job, a position, you know, anything. It's always good news about financial matters, okay? So um, I think you're going to be able to realize it by doing your research here you're going to be able to get this good good news about money I mean some of you again I said could be returning back to school researching taking a course online that's going to help you in the material part of your life but whenever that page shows up yeah he's always or she it's always good news about money now you have the ten of pentacles or rather the three of pentacles sorry I should be able to see that right it's upside down um, the Three of Pentacles is about communication, okay? It's about working, okay? Um, you know, it's about putting your head down and perfecting what it is you're doing. So if you're working towards a job, keep going out there. Keep plugging away. Keep putting out those resumes. If you need to have your resume adjusted, go to somebody who can do that for you if you're not capable of it yourself. It's your personal profile. It's your personal work profile, and you need to have it updated, uh, and and up or rather up to date. If some of you haven't done that in a while, consider doing that, um, because sometimes we overlook things that we we ha we can add in addition to it. I think you know you may be communicating with others. You could be asked to join a team of people. There could be two or three other people that you might be asked to join, um, and you could be promoting yourself. You could also be asked to get up and use your ideas to help other people 
people or they're going to come in and help you. This is about teamwork. This is not wor about working alone. I don't see you stepping out there being on your own right now as far as being self-employed at this time. I think you're going to be working in a collaborative effort with others, gathering ideas and information and wisdom from other people that helps you build. So maybe you're going to be tapping in and communicating with people uh, that are going to be there to help you get where it is you want to go as well as you have what you have to offer them in respect to your job, your career, and your profession. Now, you have, here we go, I did see the Ten of Pentacles here. Beautiful card. I mean, this is a card that says, you're, you, you know, get ready. You're going you're gonna to hear really, really good news about money. And you're going to be able to step up and you're going to be able to see happiness coming in because of it, okay? You're going to inherit this beautiful happiness coming into you. Um, I think, you know, uh, this is the card that says beautiful abundance and financial security, okay? You're establishing a foundation here, some of you, by working here with the Three of Pentacles to build up this legacy. You're going to be able to see your material comforts coming in. And I do see with this good, you know, with this four leaf clover that I think your worry is going to be over. You're going to be able to see something coming in for you. And it could be somebody here in the, in, in, you know, with, holding that seat of authority that's going to step up and say, hey, yeah, we want you on our team. Okay, so it could mean many things, but you could also be dealing with other issues as well with that uh, card. But know that, you know, you have security now and you're going to feel secure in your home life, in your family life, and also your chosen family, your friends. You have security there. They're there to, to, to cover your back and have your back. So, you know what, you're going to be able to be extremely blessed. I see that, you know, I think you're going to hear good news about money. I think you're working hard on those goals. Um, you know, I think, you know, you're going to be able to see all this fruition coming into you. So this is beautiful. Now, in your now position, in the center position, you have the two of swords. And you could be at a crossroads with somebody. And this could be what's bringing you worry as well. And swords can often have to do with legal issues or, you know, just conflicts and challenges that you're dealing with. And you could have locked horns with somebody else where you're kind of at a crossroads. You can't make a decision what it is you want to do. You're hot and cold. It's like, you know, one minute you're looking at it in a positive way and another minute you're looking at it in a negative way. If this is a relationship, I think there's a decision that has to be made. And I think communication is imperative in order for you to make that. But you could be at a crossroads and conflicted with yourself. You know, what is it you truly want to do? Okay, so you need to think about that. Okay, so this is all about being at a stalemate right now, and it's and it's it's you know quite interesting because it does come up above the hangman, which is you know that sort of hanging in limbo. Okay, not being able to move forward, not being able to make a decision. Now this could be somebody that you care about here. Okay, and right now you can't move forward with a relationship for some reason that might be out of your control. You've got the Six of Swords. Now this is beautiful. You're going through transition and that means that you're leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores. So you've made a decision here that you want to move on in a better direction. And you're only going to take those that truly want to support you and be in your end of the ring. People who respect you, care about you, and they have the same beliefs and aspirations and goals that you do. And, you know, this is saying that, you know what, Vic, you know, you, you've dealt with your demons, you've dealt with your challenges, and now you're leaving them behind. You're able now to traverse and go forward. Now, there still may be some, you know, challenges here right? Um, I mean, you could be dealing with, you know, anything. You don't throw a boat out, in a, a, a little sailboat or a rowboat out in the middle of the ocean and not expect a few waves to come up, but you're going to weather them, okay? You're going to weather and be able to get through these next challenges, and they're not going to be as difficult as the past. Now, coming in towards you, you have a, a lot of swords here. You have the ten of swords now, and that means it's over. The worst is over. When the tens show up, it's completion. And you felt as though you were in a position of being stuck and tied down. You couldn't move forward. Your hands were tied. And you felt as though maybe you'd even been betrayed and stabbed in the back by somebody because they weren't there supporting you and your needs and, and being there with you. But it's over. Now you're able to get up. Now you're able to go free. Now you're able to go towards your goals and be happy. You've got the... Uh, you've got the rebirth card, which is actually the judgment card. Okay. I think you're making, you've made a decision here to do what's going to make you happy. You, there's been a judgment call here. Definitely. And, you know, they call it rebirth here and, and they call it renewal in other decks. And it is the beautiful card of 
judgment. So, you know, I think you've made a judgment call or a judgment call is going to come up here and you're now going to be able to, you know, embrace new ones. Okay. It's like liberation. It's like freedom. It's a new beginning. It's getting a second chance. And I think you're going to drop old values. I think you're going to change the way you've been doing things or thinking about things. Okay. And approaching things. Um, I think, you know, you've been making some thoughtful judgments regarding your life and they're going to help you make some new choices and they're going to be beautiful, confident choices that you're going to be making. So no, you know, rest easy knowing that you prepared well. And, you know, this could be some legal situations and they're going to be resolved in your favor. Okay. Or favorably. Okay. So if any of you are waiting to hear about, um, you know, uh, examinations, they're going to come in. You're going to hear about your examinations and you're going to, and, and you've passed them and things are going to work out uh, and cert certification tests that are going to go well. If you, if you've, uh, you know, done an exam or done tests or anything like that, know that you, the, that when you hear about it, it's going to be good news. Okay. It's going to come out in your favor as well. So, you know, you're going in a new direction. It's like getting a second chance at life. It's rebirth. It's beautiful. Now, you have the Seven of Cups, and that is a card of confusion, confliction, decisions, decisions, decisions. And, you know, um, I think you're, you're at that point where you're trying to figure out, do I do this? Do I do that? Do I go there? Do I stay here? You know, you've, you've been conflicted about something really, really important. Too many options, too many opinions, confusion, um, you know, and, and what happens is it just gets our mind running randomly, right? So you may be faced with some complex decisions coming in and it might be difficult for you to choose between the options available coming into you. So do your research, study what it is you want to do, sit down with yourself and, you know, and maybe you might even have to seek out counsel or a mentor um, to help you make these decisions that are going to help you. Okay. So I would definitely try focusing and avoid any unrealistic expectations right now. And you'll be able to make the right choice. Do what's right for you, Cancer. Make these decisions based on what's going to be for your greater good. This is about you. Okay, let's see what we have here for clarification, my beautiful Cancers. Let's see what we have here. A lot of swords here. I think there's going to be something to do with <clears throat> uh, legal issues for a lot of you. Okay. Uh, I mean, you, you're definitely, you know, with the, with the, with the judge judgment call, it's things are going to work out in your favor. Um, you know, the worst is over. Uh, you've got this beautiful four leaf clover, which says, you know what? Good luck. Energy shifting. Ten of pentacles. Happy home life. Financial security. Getting that offer. Getting that good news about money coming in. So I really, truly do think that, you know, you're moving away from the, the hard times things are going to get easier for you. Okay, let's see what we have spirit for the hangman. You've been given victory after hard work and struggle, the six of wands. So definitely things are going to improve for you. Okay, so you don't have to worry anymore. You're, you're this. I think this pause, this, this hanging in limbo is going to end soon and you're going to be able to move forward. I think you're getting recognition for what you have to offer, who you are, what you stand for. Beautiful. Coming in with the, the princess of pentacles or the page of pentacles, you have the four of cups. Now, the Four of Cups is all about feeling like you're stuck in a situation, you can't go forward, uh, you're bored, you, you know, um, you're, you're in limbo. This says keep your options open, keep your eyes open because you will be able to see. Yeah, it is the four, not the six. You will be able to see light at the end of the tunnel. So don't get up in your head again. You know, this is boredom. This is saying, you know, ho-hum, nothing's going my way. But look what's happening here. If You don't have to worry about that anymore because you're going to hear good news about money. You've got the two of wands, making your legacy, going out there, waiting for your ship to come in, whatever that exciting event is that you want the situation in your life to shift it's going to um, get you know I think you've done all the work you can do and right now you just have to wait for <clears throat> things to fall into place but in the meantime you could be thinking about putting out that extra resume you could think about you know what is it you need to do that you've neglected doing here okay it's it's a great card you know that says wow you're making your mark on the world coming in with your ten of Pentacles which is great you've got the chariot Okay, this is about realizing that, you know, you have to put your neck out there. You have to put yourself out there and know that there's risks and consequences when you do. But at the end of the day, when you go into something in, 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 you know, after what you truly want and you go in there with a positive outlook, 
usually you get what you want. This is a card that says commend yourself for some major accomplishment that you've made. Beautiful. I mean, like you've heard me say this a thousand times. He doesn't go into the arena with a mindset he's going to lose. No, he goes in there with a mindset he's going to give it all he can and he's going to win. And you know what? Here it comes into you with the Ten of Pentacles. Locking horns with somebody you have the, you have the, uh, the, you know, the two, the two of swords here, you have the Knight of Swords. So you're going to be hearing about something coming in very quickly. Uh, you're going to have to act on it. Okay. So, um, this could be, um, you know, you right now, I don't want you to make any impulsive decisions because something could come in here where you're in a situation of conflict with somebody else. I don't want you to make a snap decision. Okay, but this could also be your knight in shining armor for others uh, that's coming in to sweep you off your feet. And, you know, not quite like the knight, um, not quite like the, the knight of cups, but this particular knight comes in all of a sudden. And, you know, they could be, uh, they could be, you know, a Gemini, a Libra, or, uh, or an Aquarius that comes in that, that suddenly comes in and says, hey, I'm here. I care about you. I'm crazy about you. And, and you know, it could be this, you know, this knight in shining armor, or it could be somebody who comes in and says, hey, I can help you and you're going to feel as though you've been rescued okay so um know that um i think you're going to be dealing with somebody uh that's going to step in and you know they're a go-getter they're unstoppable they're idealistic they're decisive they're knowledgeable and it could be somebody in the court system that's here to help you as well or you're going to hear about that which is going to help you here with this being locked at horn locked at horns and being in a stalemate here about a decision there so there could be somebody coming in to help you with that now with your six of swords you have the five of swords so be careful because um you know you might be getting involved in a situation a debate a battle something like that a conflict with somebody that's a no-win situation so sometimes it's just best to walk away from it but if you do get provoked to the point where you have to go into that battle mode you'll win it but you're going to come out of it still feeling you know down and depleted and defeated it's like okay i won it but why do i feel this bad about it why couldn't this have been done sooner why couldn't we have been amicable why couldn't we have been you know uh comprom compromised or you know come in with compromise or something um you know it could be a legal issue that you win and you could be at, you could be saying those things to yourself for others you know you can walk away from this because it, if it's if you are getting involved in something that looks like a no-win situation turn your back on it and don't get involved in it coming in with the ten of swords it's going to be over okay you've got the, the nine of cups make a wish wish is fulfilled so definitely something that's held you back held you down has stopped you from being able to go forward in a positive and and a beautiful direction now it's here with the nine of cups wish is fulfilled beautiful coming in with your judgment card here your rebirth you have the knight of rods so you're going to be hearing about something very quickly coming in and it might require you signing something maybe you're going to hear about a job or uh, you know they're going to have an interview or you've got to sign a contract uh, something like that um, it could be simple as that but I think you're going to be hearing about something very fast coming in okay so get ready it could be uh, you know it could be something as simple as um, you know something new something brand new a new idea that somebody's bringing you in okay situation is going to need your immediate attention don't don't wait around uh, something is coming in very quickly uh, you're going to hear about and you're going to receive and you got to act on it okay I always tell people if it has to do with something that you have to sign on or uh, you know maybe you've you know you've been you put out um, an offer on something uh, it could even be an offer on a house or a bid on something or uh, maybe you've heard from somebody who says hey go and apply for this job don't wait around because there's always somebody who wants to step in your shoes ahead of you so act on it quickly okay it, and it's gonna be you know it's gonna be okay because you know whatever it is even if it's signing documents make sure you're you're, you're you use your caution uh, don't you know don't jump into don't jump to conclusions don't sign on the dotted line you know with the first offer that comes in sit and discuss it and communicate on it okay because that's what this is all about now your final card look what you got yeah you got that card that three of swords so this is disappointments now let me see what it landed on okay so <clears throat> it landed on the seven of cups which is a card of being conflicted having to make a choice and a decision about something <clears throat> now when I see this card because of all the yellow that's around it okay um, 
it means you're healing through a situation or you have healed through a situation where you felt as though you were left out in the cold, very, you know, disappointment, maybe it was a broken heart, whatever the case was for some of you cancers, know that you're healing through this. And I think you're going to see that, you know, it could be a decision that you have to make here. And maybe you made a decision that, you know, you didn't want to have to make, but you're going to get through it. Okay. This is a card of healing here. When this shows up, yes, it can be grief. It can be disappointments. Um, you know, it can be all of those things. But when I see it show up, I always think that it has to do with healing through it. Not having to constantly, you know, think that you're not going to make it. Okay. So... <clears throat> You know, it could be something like a misunderstanding that you might have had. Maybe some of you are just feeling lonely, but it often has to do with relationship concerns. So know that, you know, something might be hanging around you, but I think, you know, forgiveness is going to come into play because that's the only way you can, you know, that's the powerful healer, isn't it? Forgiveness. So don't hold on to that energy, okay, of past disappointments or past conflicts, okay? Remember to forgive yourself too for the choices you might have made and maybe you wanted to make them differently, but you did the best that you could do at that time and how ironic it lands on this card of decisions. Wow. Well, my beautiful Cancers, this is your reading for today. And, you know, all in all, it's quite positive. I mean, you've got the ten of, or the Nine of Cups. You've got victory after hard work and struggle. You've, you know, you're making your mark here. You're communicating with others. I mean, you're going to hear good news about finances. And something's going to come to a drastic end. And now you can move forward. And when something is concluded, something's finished here, you're able now to move forward in a positive direction. Good luck coming in with the four-leaf clover as well. So less worry, my beautiful Cancers. I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And again, I leave you with this. The universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. So again, be mindful what you project, what you transcend, what you throw out there into the universe because you're going to get it coming back at you. So hopefully it's going to be positive energy. Hold your chin up. Hold your head up. Move forward in that positive direction. In the law of attraction. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed, want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and soon we can all get together and see each other soon.